absolutely filled my heart. And I, um, I also delivered three quilts. Three quilts. Uh, first stop was my cousin's, which you'll see the inserted picture um, that G will insert in that. And oh, it looks like we've got a stop with road work ahead of us. This is summertime in Oregon. It's always the road work time. And um, so we stopped at my cousin's house. I mean, if I had been able to, if we had decided to go ahead and hug, which we did not, we kept our social distance, I would have been a blubbering idiot because um, it was so amazing to see their faces and their three beautiful daughters. And, and so I dropped, uh, dropped the t-shirt quilt off and um, <laughs> I'm waving to the guy on the side of the road, but he didn't look too happy. <laughs> have a stand out there in the cold. Um, so I dropped the t-shirt quilt off and mind you, on the way over the mountain this trip, I was tacking binding. Oh my gosh, my I have blisters on my fingers. Oh my, my thumbs are just so sore. But I got it all done. So I dropped his quilt off to him and, and got to talk a little oh, family stuff. And then we went to uh, my grandson's house and I dropped his quilt off, which was the ABC quilt that from the class um, with Sarah Felke. And, um, and I sewed the two pockets with uh, a book and a stuffed, um, he, whenever, our, we FaceTime, he wants to see the toys at my house, and there was one stuffed eagle that he um, always wanted to see, so I put that stuffed eagle in the other pocket. And then I left the yin and yang quilt for Andy, his aunt, who um, they share a household. Uh, so it was so wonderful to have three quilts out of the beehive all done and to their respective recipients. And now I have a lot of uh, quilting to do. Um, there's some table runners I want to get done. So we'll be, I'll be showing you, I'll be showing you uh, that journey when I start that journey. But for now, I am just going to be stitching away on my pumpkins enjoying the drive over the mountain and uh, head back home. Yeah, back home again for another couple weeks and then we'll head back over the mountain. I love this um, pouch that one of our virtual family sent sent to me. 
I just so enjoy it because it has everything I need for my stitching in it, including it has the sweetest little glass case, so I have an extra pair of glasses. I have my um, a magnetic needle box. I have my chart holder for if I need to hold the chart. I have thread, all the thread from doing the binding and also attaching. I had to attach every label and then my little red clips that I hold the binding and then this awesome, awesome um, little uh, needle thing that I got last year at um, Woolstock when uh, myself and the girlfriends went to um, went to uh, Minnesota to hang out with Stacy West at Buttermilk Basin for her Woolstock event. She gave all of us one of these lipstick holders that uh, it, when you twist it up, there's all your all your needles on a little pin cushion at the top. Isn't that cute? That's the niftiest little thing. But yeah, I love this little little bag. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Sure comes in handy too because I forgot my stitching pillow if you can believe it. And so I just set my stitching on top of that bag and it works great. 